welcome to another video on today's topic how to spot if a piece you're practicing or want to play is too difficult for you but this is quite a common question and I think a very important topic and one that many people have a difficulty with finding out until it's too late perhaps is this piece that I want to learn or that I'm practicing actually too difficult for me or is it something that I can manage and just needs more time there's kind of a caveat to this topic because of course you should always play slightly more difficult pieces if you want to progress if you always play the same level you kind of plateau right so especially if you're in a learning phase and you want to improve of course eventually you will plateau but uh, in this learning phase you want to improve the difficulty of the pieces step by step we're talking about a massive jump in difficulty which would of course not be beneficial so we have all been in that situation i think where we listen to a piece and we think like wow i just need to play that and the question is can we play it should we play it is it too difficult for us difficult is a very subjective topic right so therefore naturally this is a very subjective video because difficulty i mean what is difficulty in the end we don't want to care about the difficulty we want to just make beautiful music but the difficulty is maybe kind of an objective indicator even though it's a subjective topic it can be an objective indicator that maybe this is too much for us right maybe we should um, do some other pieces first the point is we want to learn what is a gradual kind of progress we can do and how do we know if a piece is too difficult for us and we should rather do something else so the first thing i would say is look at your other repertoire your other repertoire is a good indicator normally for if the next piece is too much of a jump let's say for example you've played a couple of maybe inventio symphonias so the free voiced inventios and then you're deciding you know what i want to do the chopin etude winter wind now okay so clearly that is quite a jump in difficulty right of course now you can say musically there is a fugues and preludes that are very difficult to execute yes of course but from your technique standpoint if you've never done something as intense as one of the very hard Chopin etudes then this is going to be a challenge that in my opinion doesn't make sense to do so the reason behind it is of course we want to improve our technique right but there are other pieces we can do first maybe other etudes for example we can do cherny etudes or exercises and then we can gradually start with the easier Chopin etudes this is a very common thing with I would say beginners or just amateurs in general that they don't have a stable foundation they don't have a stable basis and then they hear a piece and they just want to learn it because it sounds so cool right so the, there's quite of a jump in the, in the difficulty here there's quite a lot of gaps in the middle so you have a hole in your repertoire and you just try to uh, jump right uh, like three or four levels of course one should ask how can i even know the difficulty of the piece difficulty is so subjective how do i know which chopin attitude i should do it's a very difficult question to answer there is kind of a consensus among pianists for all of the repertoire right there's a consensus more or less how difficult is a piece i don't really recommend always but henley is kind of a okay indicator for difficulty i know there are thousands of exceptions but if you're a beginner and you are just starting and you have no idea how difficult the piece is maybe go to Henle and then check the piece difficulty if it's a quite a jump of your own level that could be an indicator although the Henle I mean I, I, I wouldn't sign uh, I wouldn't uh, put my name that this is an accurate list but more or less kind of a vague indicator I think so yes so your current repertoire can be a good indicator for what kind of difficulty level comes next the next sign that the piece may be way too difficult is if you spend many 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 hours improving like actually drilling passages and really trying to understand them and dissecting them and practicing them in a really efficient way 
and you realize there's almost no progress. So this is a classic indicator of this is an insurmountable challenge for me at the moment. Of course, we have to drill very hard, you know, we have to drill the pieces very hard, especially once they're so difficult in order to make progress. And this is, of course, uh, shifting with your difficulty. Let's say you're, you're a beginner and you just learned your first, um, for example, your Clementi, right? Or you're doing a Scarlatti Sonata. And you've never done something similar to this because you've, you've only done like five finger uh, stuff or scales. Or if, uh, for example, we say you're intermediate uh, category and you've learned, for example, um, Pathetic Beethoven Sonata, and then you're making a jump to, you know, you're learning your first concerto. So this is now a question of how much time do you put in and does the result actually kind of, you know, equal that? I think the point with all of this and maybe the point of this whole video is that you should be doing something that's slightly over your difficulty and not a complete jump because this slight difficulty raise will help you to progress actually it's obtainable whereas the jump is so much more effort and things you don't know about the next indicator would be your fingers just can't seem to remember or to be able to do things it has to do with just how many patterns is your hand used to if your hand is not used to many patterns yet then if you take a piece that has very complex patterns and one after another then it will be almost impossible for your hand to really remember you gradually increase with the structural complexity this is i mean it's a difficult topic but if you just pick something that is very uniform right from start to finish kind of the same and then you go to something that is completely uh, crazy difficult has many complex structures okay but if we don't do more difficult pieces we never improve yes it's kind of a catch-22 you know like um, if you don't do more difficult pieces you can't improve but if you do two difficult pieces uh, you also can't improve it's like it's a like a Goldilocks zone you know yeah it's a it's a thing that you will get better to judge by yourself and indicators like spending hours and hours and hours and never improving uh, or extremely slow improving and things like uh, the hand is overwhelmed because of the whole structural motives and techniques are these are kind of signs that maybe this is just way out of reach for you and the third thing i would say is if it's impossible for you for example to focus on the music that's another thing um so basically of course we want to make music we don't want to hit notes or strike notes but if you're so busy with really only just about figuring out how to play the right notes even after months let's say and you ha never have the headspace to think about musicality or phrasing or you know your pedaling or your your sound quality tone quality if you don't even reach that point because it's so overwhelming to play all the notes then that should be a sign that this is too difficult for the pieces that are just in your ideal difficulty zone it should be like this that you spend a lot of time actually learning the notes but eventually you have the muscle memorized and you know it just works yeah you have practiced it it works and then you have still enough kind of head uh, room left to actually focus on the other things yeah which are vastly more interesting than just hitting the right notes things like your music musical aspects your interpretations your ideas expressing them with the right dynamics uh, with the right articulation the right phrasing the right pedaling and so on if you have enough space for this after you know enough time of practicing it like let's say weeks or months then this is a good sign. If you're completely overwhelmed and still after months just try to play the right notes and even that is too much, then this is a clear sign it's too difficult. Another sign I would say is if you have just no way of memorizing it. Memorizing is quite a sensitive topic and everyone works differently, but you know, memorizing is, is part of playing the piano. If this kind of piece or information 
just doesn't fit up here memorized then maybe the structure or the harmonies or the, the whole thing is too complex or I mean it hasn't been done memorized enough yeah of course it's uh, I mean I'm talking about you've put a lot of effort memorizing it but you never memorize it maybe that means that on a kind of structural level you didn't completely understand this piece yet which isn't a big problem there are ways to memorize you know there are tricks and methods but if you never get beyond that step because it do just doesn't fit um, then maybe it's too difficult yeah maybe a bit too difficult now of course I know yeah there are contemporary pieces that are just impossible to memorize just completely random set of notes or you know some some Ligeti pieces where it takes so long to memorize but I'm not talking about this and maybe you should do you should try to memorize shorter pieces first right before you make such a jump and the last one which is probably my favorite is if your teacher or your colleagues your friends other pianists other pianists in your conservatory your music school your friend circle the youtube comments maybe youtube comments yeah if everyone kind of agrees yeah this is too much this should be a clear sign let's get back quickly to the um, difficulty discussion such a effing subjective thing please don't take don't even take my word for it okay if i tell you something that just don't don't immediately uh, take that as the truth please and uh, so you shouldn't also with anyone else difficulty extremely subjective even what i told you today extremely subjective uh, subjective can be changed can be looked at differently obviously yeah but if kind of everyone agrees and tells you hey you know what maybe that is too difficult for you maybe you should not play uh, chrysleriana if everyone kind of agrees on something if a lot of pianists or especially if you have a teacher if they say you know what i would wait before i do that there's a reason behind that the reason is not they want to stop your progress the reason is they want you to look at it later where you have more knowledge you have more patterns in you you are able to understand and memorize and perform um, longer pieces more freely without being so busy thinking just about hitting the right notes they want you to play it at that time because at this time right it will take a month to learn memorize and play whereas if you do it now it might take six months eight months you will play it just about um, you know maybe poorly and you will not have any fun doing it so they say let's do some other things first that are just above your um, or currently or above your difficulty and let's wait for a later point to do this so this is also my concept try to always look at you know like a good uh, reporter look at different sources but I think kind of generally these are things I would go about and if you have questions about your repertoire right now you can of course ask me in the comments you can tell me hey I'm currently doing this and this and also maybe include how you feel about doing them you know don't just say you're playing them tell me also is it too difficult for you how long did it take you to get to an okay level and maybe we can talk about if your repertoire wishes are maybe too difficult or if it's just the right fit so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video